Greetings and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to connect two PCs directly with a crossover Ethernet LAN cable to transfer data easily and fast. Now why am I doing this tutorial? Well because there are people once in a while that ask me how to do it and how to set it all up. Although there are tons of guides online, not all of them always work. I'm going to show you how to do it with Windows 10. Now there are a number of reasons you'd want to do this to transfer over files from one computer to another. The easiest and cleanest way might be to use your router, a USB flash drive or an external hard drive. Still there are people out there that want to do it with an ethernet cable without the nasty speed limits often seen with routers over a local area network. Hey there even are people out there that built their own little home server with this and I'll probably do that as well in the near future. Okay. So so to get started, you first of all need a crossover RJ45 Ethernet cable. It's the same type of LAN cable you use for your router, but it's not a standard straight through cable with both ends having identical wiring. Instead you need a cable with two different ends, crossed wiring, hence the name crossover. This will allow connecting two computers with each other. If you don't want to go out and buy such a crossover cable, there even are adapters available for your existing standard straight through cable, but I've never bothered using such an adapter. But let's get to the point. First connect both computers with the crossover cable. Then for instance, just start on the PC you want to transfer files from. Down in the taskbar you see the network icon. Right click it and go to the network and internet settings. Next to make sure we don't run into any windows based security issues that would block our file sharing, go to sharing options and temporarily turn on network discovery as well as file and printer sharing for basically all the networks, private, guest and public. Under all networks, make sure password protected sharing is turned off, then save the changes. Ok, next up we need to change some adapter options. Double click your ethernet LAN adapter, go to properties, select IPv4, properties, now set the following IP address manually. 192.168.1.10. You don't have to go for the 10 on the end, you can use a different number as well if you want. As for the subnet mask, let it set itself like so. Finally click on OK. When we now check our IP address, it is now the one we just set. Alright, now let's pretend you want to share this folder named server PC. Right click it, then down to give access to specific people. From the drop down menu select everyone and click on add. You can then choose the permission level, basically if you allow the other PC to just read or write as well. Last but not least, hit share. Wait for a while and then done. Now go to the second PC. Just as on the first PC, turn everything on except for password protected sharing. That needs to be off. Then also go to the adapter options and enter a different IP address. So instead of the ending number 10 as on the first PC, go for something like 20. Subnet mask remains the same and it will set itself. And now you're pretty much good to go. Go to run and type in backslash backslash 192.168.1. 1.10. This is the IP address we set on the first PC. However, sometimes you might encounter some connection problems. Your antivirus program's firewall could be one of the main reasons. So you would then go back to the first PC and either disable antivirus protection, which you wouldn't recommend doing, or just change the ethernet connection to something like local area network or trusted network in your firewall settings. On the second PC, when you now try to connect to the network, you have full access now and the shared folder is there, ready to be accessed. The transfer speeds are pretty good actually, depending on the files. In my case it's 60 to 70 megabytes per second guaranteed, with up to 110 megabytes per second. And that's it. If you want to share files from the second PC with the first PC, simply share a folder and connect to the IP address of the second PC. Very simple. Hopefully I didn't confuse you, I just tried cramming as much info as possible into this video. And with that said, happy file sharing. Oh and thanks for watching.